back to WKAP, Cape City's news network. Police today escorted the body of slain hero cop, Detective Max McGurk, to its final resting place. A 30-year veteran of the force, McGurk was known for his good relations with Cape City's superhero community. He died in the line of duty after falling from the roof of the Hotel Swan. Despite rumors that the supervillain control freak is responsible, police have yet to charge anyone with McGurk's murder. A spokesman said investigations were underway, but had no further comment. Okay, welcome to Goonies World. I am Goonie, also known as Colin, and I'm joined, as always, with Johnny Farrow, also known as Sean. Hello, everybody. And Meanie, also known as Ryan. What up? And today we're playing a game called Everyone is John. Everyone is John. I'm John. It's about a guy who has multiple personalities crazy personalities and obsessions um i guess we could uh kind of so uh, they have skills and obsessions that they are attempting to uh accomplish and i neither i nor either of them know what the other person's stuff is nor do they know where i'm going to drop them or where john might wake up as it were um this is a fun little game we uh, actually I randomly ran across uh, online and uh, there was a Kickstarter going and I backed it and uh, yeah. you made this happen huh? I, I helped <laughs> I helped yeah. yeah and we should also point out we're going to set this in Cape City which is our homebrewed superhero RPG setting that we've been developing for the last what 15 years or so yeah probably yeah so it's yeah, nice state it's, in the upper Midwest or city in the upper Midwest. Mm -hmm. oh. It's um, we decided we won't say because we're still arguing about uh, whether it's uh, in a established state or whether it's um, a new state. But the city is right under a, a fake lake, Great Lake. Yes, which is in fact called Lake Inferior. Yes, the shores of Lake Inferior, the smallest, smallest of, of the, the Great, Great Lakes. Lakes. That's right. That's but right. deepest. That's right. And what what <laughs> That's true. And what secrets does it do its depths hold? We don't know. We might find out, but maybe not. Anyway. Now, I'm not the expert in this game, so I'm going to let the experts proceed. Um, well, I'm, I mean, it's three pages, or one page, so even, so there's not much to be an expert at. But, Good. basically, I, unless I am mistaken, I believe what happens at this point is you must bid for control of John uh, before you even have any idea what sort of situation John might be in. Okay, and when we start with John, we are in our our personality, right? Yep. yep. That's how it okay. With your skills and your... And then, whenever... So, he will fall asleep and require another bid for control uh, anytime he gets bored. Yeah, so after some ten minutes or so of inactivity. Um, and there will be also a bid for control after any time a roll is failed. And what was the other? Um, they could fall asleep. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you would have to reestablish control. Okay, and when we bid, we're using poker chips to bid, and we have a finite number of them. Yes, ten apiece, uh, yes. which you could trade three in uh, at creation for an additional skill, but nobody did that. No, thank you. No, we're going to need these willpower points. Yes, yes. Yes, willpower points as represented by poker chips. So, um, if you would take... A, an arbitrary number choose an arbitrary number of poker chips to bid for control mm -hmm. place them in your closed hand and hold them out I am now doing so I'm just waiting on Goonie and alright reveal and 
Uh, that looks like... How many you got there? Four, Sean? Yeah, I have three. three. I have four. All right. Well, it looks three like wins Colin's, the bid. Colin's voice goes Now, first. these three that I just bid, are those set aside for now? And I keep... No, you... Since you lost... The, you uh, keep them, keep. but Colin has to give him to Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So, <clears throat> you wake up. Your eyes open. And you are standing in a very hot place. The fuck am I? You are standing... Um, with your hand outstretched, um, grasping something, and there's a, this sort of noise, uh, this hissing noise, and you realize you're standing, holding onto a fryer basket, uh, full of French fries, uh, in a Chubby Chodes restaurant, and you have like a little uniform with a little name tag that says John on it, and um, a little hat. And all of a sudden, uh, you start hearing this beeping noise coming from the machine that you're holding the basket. Oh, shit! The fries are done! <laughs> they are. Uh, do you dump them? Uh, fuck these fries! I'm gonna fucking fl- fling them. <laughs> fuck this job. I'm not a... F- I don't work here. What the fuck am I doing here? John! What, what are you doing? John! The, the manager... You like you, so you wing this fucking basket full of hot fries across the restaurant, in the back of the, the kitchen, and uh, the manager just freaks the fuck out. It, it, he's he's like running a register. Where there's like a customer, and he turns around. And he's like, "John, what the hell are you doing?" Wait, wait, I see it. So, so I'm undercover here, right? Cause I I don't work here. I must have forgotten I'm undercover. Undercover? What are you what are you talking about? Help me clean this mess up. Uh, he I think getting a broom and like <laughs> sweeping up the fries. You know, I think I've done my fill here. I think I've learned whatever I was supposed to learn here. Uh, there. Yeah, let's. I'm. I'm. I'm out of here. Fuck you. Uh, I'm. But you. You guys will finish your shift. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he just. He's gonna walk out. All right. Well, you just walk out the back or the front. Uh, I'll walk out the front. Patrons are looking on in confusion yeah, the- and horror. Yes, and so and and for listeners, um, Chubby Chodes is a uh, fake hot dog fast food chain. Yes, where the hot dogs are uh, extremely wide, but not too long, <laughs> and filled with delicious filling. Yes, that's right. So, uh, you walk out into, I mean, through the restaurant, out from behind the counter, through the restaurant, and, I mean, you stunned customers uh, sitting around with their girthy uh, hot dogs um, <laughs> as, as you storm. Yeah, take a picture. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and uh, where are you going? You walk out the front door. Okay, let's see. Let me get my bearings here. Um, You're in a... <clears throat> Uh, a large, busy city. Um, you can see you're you're not in downtown proper exactly, but it's you can see tall buildings very close, just a few blocks away. Or, I don't know if you're f- from Cape City. I mean, I would assume, but I oh yeah, Cape City baby. Ah, I need to go uh, check in to work where I really work. Which is uh, downtown the police department. <laughs> I, th- I think we've got the same idea. <laughs> Shh, don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be really fucking funny, but we'll, we'll just... I can't tell. We'll, we'll just wait and tell. see. We'll just wait and see. <laughs> so, um, you know where you are then, uh, being an employee of the police department. You are just a few blocks away uh, from downtown and, and the police department. You... you take you five minutes to walk there so you purposefully stride off through the busy sidewalks um (laughs) i hope you that's gonna be so funny anyway and um you walk into the lobby of the of the police department and uh the person behind the counter i mean you you just walk over and like you're trying to get 
in to like. Yeah, where's my uh, key card? Uh, 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 Sally, buzz me in, would you? Uh, and the lady behind the counter, she's like, uh, excuse me, sir, did you... It's a Detective Terranova. You know me. <laughs> oh, you know me. Always flirting with me. Um, she looks confused. Uh, do you have your badge with you, sir? I must have lost it. Uh... What do I have on my on myself? <laughs> you're you're <laughs> you're in a fucking chubby Jones uniform <laughs> with a little paper hat. <laughs> Unless you threw it off at some point. No, okay, I'll keep it on. <laughs> with a name check that says John, John. Yes. <laughs> and like a pair of you know industrial kitchen rubber soled uh, boots or f- shoes. Anything in my pockets? Uh, a wallet. Um, some car keys or some keys that include car keys and some house keys. Okay. Uh, see, I'm undercover. That's why I'm dressed this way. Yeah. Um. What What were you doing? You like doing a stakeout on the chubby chodes or something? I think so. I think I'm. I must have uh, blacked out, or I mean. It's a really boring job, so... All right, well, do you have any type of skill related to bullshitting or or lying or... I have investigation, <laughs> uh, which is, yeah. I take the exact same thing. <laughs> it's like t- talking to... Getting information out of people, not necessarily convincing other people to believe my bullshit. Well, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I, 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 I mean, I can't let you back here without your badge. Can I roll? Uh, roll a, a skill I for I don't have. I mean, I have you to roll. You have to get a six, but yeah. yeah, you can roll like roll the bullshitter. Uh, I'll save my will for now and just try to roll a six. Now, how old is John's physical body? He's a teenager, right? No, he's like 22. Okay, okay. Still maybe a little on the young side for... For, for a cop right. or a detective, yeah. yeah. I don't think he's looked in the mirror yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Sean wants to hear the dice roll. I do, thank you. Man, that you, didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that three that you rolled, we're yeah. not going to count that. It was not on the right surface. <laughs> Okay, but I really didn't. I forgot. So I, but I if was, was going to try to roll it. If it had been a six, I, I'd have let you keep it. Here comes a non-fully die roll. <laughs> oh, oh, the opposite of six. That's oh, a right. one. That's a one. Well, I don't know if it's the opposite uh, of six. But. On a d six, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. Well, we are going to have to um, bid for control once again. No. Oh. All right, so when you have uh, the chosen number of willpower uh, in your hand, go ahead and hold them up and then reveal. Okay. Oh! All right. F- Colin with the fake out. <laughs> fake out. Zero. Three. Zero wagered. All right, so. Oh, boy. You wake up um, somewhere perhaps you expected to be uh, in a police station. <laughs> And you don't not sure how you how you got here, but there's a a woman in uniform mm-hmm. um, standing here and clearly seems to have been in conversation with you. I will. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously completely confused. I'm going to, to excuse me. I'm sorry. And back towards the door, look around wide eyed. I want to try to get a glimpse of myself in the in the reflection because I know something's wrong. I know I'm not myself. Um yeah, well in reflected in the door, you see um and you can't make out a lot of detail, but you appear to be a man in your early twenties, um with dark brown hair, um mm-hmm. a little bit of peach fuzz. <clears throat> oh no. And um you are wearing a Chubby Chodes uniform with a, a name tag that says John on it. And uh, you've got a nice little paper Chubby Chodes hat with an extremely thick 
uh, wiener printed on it, <laughs> full of uh, creamy loads. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run outside the door, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost panicking. Now, take a deep breath on the sidewalk and try to hail a cab. I can't believe it. I can't believe it worked. I can't believe the bastard killed me. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I think I know who you are. Um, <laughs> you right. see, maybe why I was a little bit concerned for a... For, mm. Well, anyway, yeah, I got a flag down a cab. I All thought right. you were uh, Dweek Stevens at first. No, uh, I'm... Uh, <laughs> that I know who you are. Yes, our listeners might not know, but, but I know. And I think Colin and I both have, have, have picked up on it. Um, and I'm taking some metaphysical license, but... I think, no, I think it's, it's, it's good, it's clever. So, but you, the fact that you both chose to be cops is pretty funny. So, anyway, you run outside and you hail a cab. I'm not going to make you roll for hailing a cab. I think uh, anyone should be able to hail a cab. And uh, you put your hand up and you see him one down the street and he pulls up and he's like, you get in, I assume. Yeah, I'm going to get in and I'm going to uh, take me, take me to the Enforcers of Freedom headquarters immediately. I mean, um... Take, take me to the Enforcers of Freedom headquarters immediately, please. Um, I'm fumbling my wallet, fumbling my pockets for, for money. I take you Enforcers of Freedom headquarters right away. Yes, th- thank you, thank you, thank you. I drive off. <sighs> All right, I got to get myself together. I got to think. What should I do? Should I call my old partner? No, it's a terrible idea for a lot of reasons. Uh, no, the only, the, only the Enforcers will believe me. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. He mutters to himself. Uh, Are you okay back there, sir? That's not, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I was just thinking of... Uh, uh, I'm practicing for a play. Thank you. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So we're pulling up outside of this Space Age-looking building. That's the headquarters of the Enforcers, formerly the Enforcers of Freedom, who are a, a, a super team based in Cape City. Correct. Yes. And... Um, you pull up outside, and he, the cabbie, uh, turns around and says, uh, That'll be uh, $7.27. Ah, here, you, here you are. Keep the change, kid. Just give him a 10 or whatever. Yeah, yeah keep fine. the change, kiddo. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rush out and, and uh, hit the public access bell. Hopefully Fallout's here. He's the only one with half a brain. Okay, so you push the button, um, uh, and... Uh, and I, I really want Fallout to, to answer the doors, what I hope. But uh, I'll leave that up to Colin. Hello? <laughs> yeah, this is McGurk. Listen, it's McGurk. I was. I didn't really die. I've, I've come back. I'm in the body of this kid. I've got to solve my own murder. you got to help me out. All right, so I'm assuming I, I can see picture, yeah, yeah. video of him. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like McGurk to you at all. It looks like some fucking kid in a Chubby Chodes uniform. Nice guy. Nice try, kid. Uh, I think you, you better get back to work. No, wait, listen. I, I promise that. And if he, if he hangs up on him, then he'll be screwed. But, uh, no, just let me in. I'm, seriously, I, I, I could, I gotta think of a way I can prove it to you. Huh? Or, um, well, do you have a skill that might persuade uh, Fallout? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. How many donuts can you eat? Yo, how many donuts can I eat? More donuts than you. That's because you're a fat pig. <laughs> now listen, I, I know where the island was, where you stayed when you were working on your anger issues, when you stayed with the natives. I know about that. What the, and the general public doesn't know all the details. Hmm. The Hulagula people. That's right, or the Hulagula. How would I know otherwise? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I think you better step inside. Yeah, you know I can't go to Lawrence. He's explosive. Inappropriate in so many ways. <laughs> Problematic. Yeah, anyway, I'll step inside. Are oh, you going to buzz him, buzz him in? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, you walk inside uh, the building. All right. Fallout, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Well, for those of you who don't know I me, mean, Fallout's a, a, a Cape City superhero who, uh, who has a, a sort of radioactive... Powers and properties and capabilities. Yes, they. He previously gave a bunch of people cancer, but mm-hmm. uh, they got that under control. Yeah, you know? the, the, the Islanders helped with that. The yeah, aforementioned Islanders. He had to. He faked his own death, and he flew to some Pacific island where the mysterious inhabitants, the Hula Gula people, actually were immune to cancer, and they also 
trained him how to uh, control his power and to not uh, irradiate or whatever everybody else. Okay, well, uh, anyway, listen, I, 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 I don't know for sure who killed me. I'm pretty sure it was Control Freak. He got into my mind and made me walk off of a building. You know, the villain who can control people's minds and bodies and make them do whatever he wants. But listen, I, I, don't, I can't prove it. I gotta go on investigations. I, I need a change of clothes, you know. Uh, so I need to get out of these clothes. Give me something normal. Give me, give me, give me access to a good vehicle, something like that. Um, I don't expect you to put yourself on the line for me in public. I'm still not a hundred hundred percent convinced, but uh, what do I gotta do to prove it? I'm back from the grave to solve my own murder. That's a cool story. Uh, I'm gonna maybe just keep an eye on you. I'm not gonna give you anything. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have like a s spare outfit of some kind. Uh, let's see what what we got back. We got some tights, you know, just some. No tights. I don't want tights. Come on, just give me give me nice slacks and a shirt, little tie. Uh, all we got is tights. Uh. <laughs> Damn superheroes and your tights. Yeah, they're, they're, and they are gonna be tight. So he uh, he'll show him like the locker room, and uh, he can pick out what like colored tights he wants. All right. Well, when I'm in the locker room, I, I'm gonna. Uh, He's going to sit and rethink his strategy here for a minute as he looks himself in the mirror and uh, realizes no one's going to believe him. And uh, I'll be lucky if I, now I should have thought more before coming. And I'll be lucky if uh, the enforcers even let me leave. They're going to be suspicious of me now. Maybe I ought to ditch this fallout. He's always been kind of a square anyway. But uh, I'll, I'll, put on the, I'll put on the new clothes. And, uh, uh, All right. So uh, you put on the the tights <laughs> which not sure how much of an improvement over the chubby chode's uniform uh, yeah yeah <clears throat> you're probably right uh, I'll, I'll put on the tights anyway and I'll uh, and I guess I'll is the chubby chode's uniform really obvious what it is if the name tag's not there and the hat's missing because uh, I mean well the pants were just okay I'm just gonna put on the pants then so at least I have a black tights top and I'll ditch the hat and the name tag and everything else. I'll throw it in the in the garbage here in the, you know. But what do you do with the wallet and all that? Well, I'll have to keep that. I'll have to keep that just to, you know, if he's got any more money at all in there. And uh, keep the keys and so on and so forth. And I'll go back out to where Fallout is in the, in the foyer. Uh, all right. Well, you go back out and you see Fallout is uh, talking to... Uh, Oh, no. A, and they're kind of off on the other side of the room, sort of talking almost conspiratorially or, you know, or, or whispery um, to a, a large uh, robot. Okay. Well, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I... Uh... <clears throat> I was confused for a moment. I, I need to get back to work. I uh, forget everything I just said. I, uh, no, I'm just going to go about my business. No, thank you very much. I need to get back and get my meds, talk to my doctor. So, uh, at any rate, <clears throat> no need for the big robot friend there. Uh, I'm just going gonna, just gonna to be on my way. As, uh, I'll be honest, I'm a kid. I, tr I tricked you. I wanted to see the inside of the, the enforcer's headquarters. It's all that, so yeah. my bad, but certainly not a crime, right? Just no, just a bit of fun, I guess. Yeah, Sorry, I'm a big fan. Fallout, you're a cool guy. Hey, you want an autograph? Yeah, I'd love one. Thank you so much. Yeah, you just, sure. just sign my arm right here. Sure thing. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, Fallout. Gee whiz, you're the best. So, I, I, I think Fallout is gonna let him go, um, but he, he wants to keep an eye on him because. Now it's really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, so maybe he'll send. Uh, I'm assuming the robot is Shepard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Well, it doesn't matter if it's him. Just somebody should should watch, like should follow uh, that boy. Well, that boy has no way to know that. 
so I'm gonna run back out to the uh, try to hail another cab out here on the street. Probably can't get the same guy back. Uh, no, a uh, different cab. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can. Listen, you gotta take me to the TV 13 studios. I'm sorry. Can you take me to the TV 13 studios? Yeah, I'm late for uh, appearance. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. All let's, right, let's, right. Let's get going. All right, it's in Midtown. Take take Spurk Street. Don't take the Avenue. Take Spurk Street. It's always bad. It's always bad this time of day. Oh God, I gotta watch that. All right, so he starts driving uh, down Spurk Street. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take over that studio. I'm gonna tell the world. There's no time for lengthy investigations. I don't know how long I've got this body. I need to let the world know what's going on. I'm gonna control freak killed McGurk. All right, so unfortunately, um, there's quite a bit of traffic. What? And um, wish I had my siren. I'm afraid uh, John gets a little bored. Oh, this is so boring. Let me just close my eyes for a minute and rest. Lean yeah. my head against the window. I'm this afraid John been, falls asleep. This has been so trying. If only, if only I. So, once again, vying for control, and you have no idea where you wake up. Yeah, it might not be right. It might not be right here in this spot. Okay, reveal your wager. Ho! Oh, and now, Sean with the fake out. Um, so. Um, Colin, you you wake up, um, and you're sitting in a rather uncomfortable plastic chair, and it's very loud, and it's sort of difficult to 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 concentrate just because there's some screaming going on. Open your eyes, and you find yourself seated in um, a football stadium where the Cape City High Boys are playing a game. You have a partially eaten chubby chode. God damn these chubby chodes! (laughs) (laughs) And, uh,. You're sitting next to uh, a young lady about your age who seems very excited uh, by the action on the field as uh, one of the players wings a ball down the field and some other one catches it and everybody's ah! and it starts going nuts. Oh, I am losing my freaking mind over here. And 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 you, who you would assume is the person you were the, the game with this this girl? She doesn't even pay attention to it. She's just like screaming and, and, and waving her arms and clapping and like high fiving people around her. The wave comes by. Everybody does a wave, but you because you're yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The hell? Okay, play it cool. Play it cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, and what is what is this? She's a she's a young, twenty something year old. Mm-hmm. Okay. She doesn't have a name tag on her. I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, sweetie. Uh, bathroom time for me, huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think the closest one was over there by section two hundred seven. Got bad diarrhea. <laughs> Okay, that's gross. Uh, well, you know, it comes with the territory, these chubby chodes. So, you're, get, you're probably going to be up next, right? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> All right. And so you get up and just head back into the uh, sort of interior sort of concessions and restrooms and whatnot. Um, it's crowded. A uh, lot of people out seeing the uh, the high boys today. So, um, but you know, it doesn't take you terribly long. Where are you going? I mean, assume not actually to take a shit. No, 
Uh, I'm going to try a different tactic this time. I'm not going to try to go to the police station. Um, but I am going to try to... <laughs> I'm going to try to go... Uh, Back to the enforcer's headquarters. <laughs> doesn't know that he's been there before. But. Okay. Um, so you have um, <clears throat> familiar keys in your pocket, um, which do contain uh, a car key to a car that you presume you own that is in the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I do have the driving skill, but I don't have the, you know, locating a needle and yeah, a haystack skill. Uh, well, yeah, you I guess could, investigation uh, could. could help. I don't know how you would investigate <laughs> where you... Unless I wrote it down somewhere. If I had the foresight, um, I'll check my pockets and, uh, or check on my arm, see if I wrote it anywhere. Um, oh, and when I, I mean, I'm <laughs> you look down at your arm and you see you're, che you're, che you're checking to, to to see if you wrote down the location of your car. But in fact, what you see is Fallout's signature printed on your huh. arm. And um, that's odd. <laughs> but I will. I will. Uh, is there a Fallout section of the parking lot? <laughs> there, is, there is not. But I will allow you to make an investigation. Well, maybe F. Fall out for F. Uh, okay, I'll make an investigation. All right, that is going to be a success. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not, because it's, it's under be three. three. It has to be or three or over. Yeah. Oh, you're stuck. Uh, well, uh, that is a failed roll. All right. <laughs> oh. So, once again... With the wagering, and again, uh, whenever you're all ready. All right, all right. Show me what you got. I wanted to see where this goes. I'm not ready yet. All right, all right. So once again, Mr. Pharaoh cedes control to Colin, who well oh. failed his investigation rule, unfortunately, but um, had a bit of a. Spell there for a second, but I'm <laughs> back now. You did... <clears throat> I, I, I will say that you... It occurs to you that um, you, ha you, do, you do have a phone in your pocket, and it might... In <clears throat> if it has a GPS, you might be able to... It might show you where you, where you parked. Let's see here. So, uh, and indeed, um, you're... It's going to take you a few couple minutes to walk there, but... You find the, the car uh, using the uh, map and GPS on the on your on your on your phone. Yeah, you are a detective after all. Found you, fucker. <laughs> um, and it's uh, it's kind of a it's a like a <clears throat> early two thousands Mars Motors um, sedan, kind of you know. Not paradigm, paradigm, paradigm. There yeah. you go, Mars, Mars, Mars paradigm. paradigm. Okay, yeah. Um, probably got some rust damage though. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's got. It's not in great shape, but, it, but you know, that was a bad period for the paradigm. Yeah, yeah. but it, uh, it it'll get you where you're going. So you get in and head towards the downtown area, which, well, you'll be driving. So it won't be quite as boring, but uh, go ahead and make a driving. Okay. Yeah. Yes, traffic is yes. bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you unlucky. Oh, all right. All right, what you got? Nope. Don't <laughs> call change his mind. <laughs> yeah. All right, what you, show me what you got. Oh, no. we faked each other out. What happens then? I just, I want to keep, I still am just following the story. I don't want to take over yet. I want him to keep going. I want to keep going, but I don't want to spend any yeah. more willpower. All right. All right. Well, um. Well, that's all right, Given man. that everybody wants this to keep going, I think the obvious thing to do is just to, to let you keep Yeah, going. well, you say, you know, I, I concede. Right, so, um. 
what I'm well driving yeah you're driving towards enforcers headquarters um, so you pull up and park uh, outside um, you have to park on the street you're a couple blocks away from from enforcers headquarters okay uh, and I will walk all right you walk up um, to the same little button uh, call button that that <laughs> your, your other voice was was at uh, I think Dr. Kane should be there at some point earlier he was there earlier yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> but uh, but it could also be fun just to have Colin talk to himself for a little that's while true, that's true that's <laughs> true <laughs> um, but uh, anyway so I assume you push the button yep okay um a uh, little, little red light comes on. Oh, excuse, hold on. <coughs> and, and for the listener, Dr. Kane is a, a, a robot. Our Dr. Kane is a, a robot with the mind of a, a scientist. Uh, yes, he was once a, a brilliant scientist. Mm-hmm. And now he's he okay. had his mind put into a robot. Now he's a brilliant robot. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, it's you again. I don't believe I've been here, but I could be mistaken. I do a lot of uh, investigations, and that's why I'm here. I got a, I got a big investigation. Okay, McGurk, is that you? Do I look like McGurk to you? <laughs> no, but you didn't look like him earlier either. I think you're going senile. I didn't think robots could go senile, but uh, you're going senile. You got it. You're going haywire. I think you might be the one going haywire, buddy, but hey, uh, why don't you come on in here, hey? Yeah, and, uh, don't mind if I do. Uh, he buzzes you in. Yeah. And uh, meets you sort of in the in the lobby. Um, hey, how's it going? Uh, well, it was going pretty good, uh, but I don't know why you're back here. All right, um, listen. I'll get right to the chase. I'm uh, investigating a murder. Okay, the murder of whom? Uh, it's the it's the murder of McGurk. Wait, well, but wait, but, hold on. I've got to compute this. <laughs> so, you were here earlier. No, nope, you. I'm Fall gonna outside your listen, arm. I. I think my girlfriend did that. She's a young uh, chick, big, big tits. Uh, I, I think she's a. I think that's a band. That's a Fallout Boys or some shit. Um, a big, she's a big fan. No, anyway. I, I was here when he did it. He signed your arm. Uh, you got a reset button on that? Her body is somewhere. Not that I'm gonna tell you about. You're weird. <laughs> so, someone who looked just like you and had fall outside his arm was here saying he was McGurk earlier. That makes sense. And he was trying to solve his own murder, but now you're here saying you're somebody else trying to solve McGurk's murder. And it's really and, weird. And he put on tights, which you're probably still wearing. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I, it's just that you put on the shirt. Or the pants are the still the chubby choke yeah, pants. Yeah. No, I, well, I think he changed at some point. Actually, he's oh, wearing okay. <clears throat> wearing jeans and a, uh, oh, okay. a high boys. Oh, okay. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Shirt. Okay. Good. But it was just a few hours ago. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what to do about that, but um, my concern right now is uh, investigating this murder of McGurk. Uh, I think I know who did it, but, you know, you superhero types uh, would probably uh, know the best. Uh, so any information you've got on the subject would help me out. Oh. Well, now, I don't know for sure if Dr. Kane knows that it was Control Freak. Well, I think the... I think... I will, I'll just say the... I, there's like a at least a rumor or something. That, yeah, it's going around that it was control freak. Yeah, the police definitely have their suspect, and mm. um, 
Not a lot of proof, though, that somebody could mind control. Hard to prosecute. Yeah, and I'll just say that my character, my voice, suspects it was Control Freak. So it is mine. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, um, well, uh, everybody seems to think it was Control Freak. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's who we got. Mm-hmm. That's our perp. Well, I don't know. Okay, I mean, nobody got knows any... where he's at. So, uh, you don't got any, like, hidden, um, security cameras or, you know, tape, uh, or any proof? I mean, because, uh, you guys, some of you guys were there, I think. Well, I wasn't, no. I actually don't even remember who was. I was there, bro. And this guy walks in with, like, sponsorship patches on his jacket like a racer. He's like, I was there, bro. I totally saw it. Every- I saw I saw everything. Hey, how you doing? Crash. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, big celebrity boy, huh? Are you the kid who thinks he's McGurk? Uh, uh, listen, I've been on the force for, like, 20 years. Uh, hey, by the way, don't pay attention to these cameras. They follow me everywhere. It's no big deal. They edit you out unless you sign a waiver. He's doing a reality show about me. No big deal. Now listen, I saw the whole thing. It was definitely control freak. Hey, 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 buddy, you still got that? Uh, can you pull out the the footage from that night? Yeah, at the old hotel when McGurk took the walk. Who are you talking? You're talking to the yeah, I'm talking to one of the cameramen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Go because they were filming. Right yeah, there, so. yeah, yeah. Your yeah. cameraman might want to ditch you and follow me. This is where the real action is. Well, you know, I mean, like I, I, I believe me, they're a pain in the ass to have around constantly. You know, they follow me into the John and everything. It's a real pain. John, that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of the cameramen, um, it's like go, it's going through like old memory cards and stuff, and um, pulls one. I mean, they're just they're small, but he he, he pulls one out. And he says, uh, "I think this one was it." Uh, yeah, check this out, bro. Watch this. You think my hair looks okay in this shot? And uh, yes. you see, um, well, uh, you, you can describe you 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 GM'd that particular game. Well, yes, I was there. I was totally there. And yeah, um, it's obvious to. I mean, you tar- again hard to prosecute mind control, but control freak. His eyes are like got a subtle, you know, gleam to him in the light, and he's touching his temple with one hand. He's pointing right at McGurk <laughs> with another, and McGurk is. Walking towards the edge of the roof in horror, and then falls right over. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could argue that it was. Uh, uh, I mean, you could see him kind of resisting it. You can see him just. Mm-hmm. It's not something he would have done on his own. Just jump off the roof of the building. I'm yeah. sure that if he got a defense lawyer, they'd say he was drunk or something. But yeah, yeah. we know better. So it does appear that the footage does exist. Of the incident. No, oh, I can't watch. Oh. This is the smoking gun. <laughs> this right here. Oh, my partner. Well, he wasn't my partner, but he was my colleague. And he loved his chubby chutes. <laughs> oh, we all love chubby chutes. Chubby chutes. Oh, that's a great idea, dude. Chubby chutes. I'll, I'll be back. And crash leaves. Well, what do you think we should do? Oh, oh. Uh, well, listen. This is a matter for the police, not for vigilantes. I'm sorry. I thank you for your help, but uh, I, we got to do this uh, by the law. So uh, you just uh, stay here and do whatever the hell you do, and I'm going to go catch some bad guys. Well, okay, I guess. It seems very strange. In Cape City, it's like what they say about when in Rome... Uh, you gotta go talk to Deadbeat. That's right. Oh. Deadbeat knows all. He sees all. Somehow. I mean, he's got his ear. He's got his nose to the ground, as they say. Yeah. All and the rumors in town filter through him. Deadbeat's uh, one of my characters. Uh, he's uh, from Virginia originally, and he's he was cursed. Uh, with immorta- immortality, um, he he considers a curse, anyways. Well, I think um, to uh, track down Deadbeat would, uh, and I should point out it's um, 
getting, you know, into the afternoonish. Um, you know, the sun's not in risk of going down, but it's you know it's getting over there. Um, and uh, but yeah, I think to track down Debbie would be um, an investigation. All right. No more fucking twos. <laughs> All right, there we go. that'll be a success. And um, would you? Who would you like to portray Didby? You are welcome to do it yourself if you want to talk to yourself. Uh, Sean can play Didby. Okay. All right. Now I just want a kind of a, this kind of voice, right? Does mm-hmm. that sound all right? Yeah, well, Matthew McConaughey, all basically. Right. Yeah. That or like um, originally, I was thinking of the of uh, the guy who played Sawyer on Lost. Right. So yeah. it's basically the same. Basically the same. All right. Okay. Yeah. Where is Deadbeat? I know he hangs out at strip club sometimes. He's, you know, in alleyways in in the gutter, uh, which is sh- what they call uh, this nickname for the Agator District. That's right. Named after the <laughs> British sci-fi mm-hmm. actress Ginny Agator. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I, I I defer to uh, to Colin to determine where, where yeah. Deadbeat would be. Hanging out in the alley, I guess. Yes, and I think there was some. I think it's uh, usually his favorite alley is Kirsty Alley. <laughs> yeah, well, they should name it that, but uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, next to the, like I think it was a Catfish Brothers or something. Catfish right? Brothers, that's right. Yeah. Catfish Brothers. That's mm-hmm. his favorite alley, so that's probably where it's Catfish Nugget. I would go. I'm sure this if this uh, voice. This detective character has come out before, um, then he would have had knowledge of where Deadbeat. I mean, Deadbeat's they an all, informant too. Yes, he could have met him. They all talk yeah. with Deadbeat because yeah. yeah, he just knows everything. What's yeah. going on? All right. Well, you find Deadbeat um, in an alley. What are you looking at, kid? <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Well, okay. So the, f- uh, the deal is, I'm not uh, I'm not a kid. Uh, I'm Detective uh, Tony Terranova. And you're a little young to be. Wait a minute, Terranova. That's a Sorry. regular. That's a real it's, dude. It's, it's not a TV show about dinosaurs. It's a real surname. No, I'm telling you, I heard of him, and you ain't him. Uh, well, I know I look a little funny. Uh, something's going on, but that's not my concern. Uh, what my concern is, is fighting. Is finding the supervillain known as Control Freak. Yeah, Control Freak. Now, he's a hard one to track down because he can make you think that he's wherever, you know what I'm saying. But I heard... Oh, maybe he's already got to me then. He's fucking up my mind. Well, I heard... Now, listen, I ain't never been there personally, you understand. But I heard that underneath the city, back from the old subway systems back in the day, late 1800s, whatnot... There's some pockets down there, some some old rooms, you understand. I heard he's holed up down there with the punster and a few others. But uh, at least as their lair where they sharpen their knives and all that. You get what I'm saying? But uh, the way I know you can get in up by the uh, sewer entrance is up by the army base where the sewer spills out of the cliff into the lake. You get in there, you get some kind of detector or readout for technology, I bet you could find them find them pretty quick, but uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna take you there, though. I got my personal dignity to consider. Well, I think you've been very helpful. Well, this uh, rumor, you understand. Don't come back here with your fists and your... You really are a detective. Uh, yeah, well, um, so usually I know the deal is you want some kind of... You want something back. No. Well, you know, I taking a look at you, son, I'm not sure there's a lot you got to give me. This is a pity case, to be honest. Oh, so I'm too good for a blowjob then, huh? <laughs> it's been a long time since Debbie had to give one of those. Uh, well, I was going to offer one. Not, not, <laughs> I mean, you know, you give me, I give you. Kid That's I'm, how it works. Kid, I'm flattered, but, uh, yeah, I already got a D tattooed on me, and I don't need another one. <laughs> Uh, very well. Uh, thanks for the info, then. Yeah, you crazy little shit. All right, so you've gotten some information uh, regarding the possible location <clears throat> of uh, Control Freak. Yeah, and that, and that that is where we had him, you know, in the last 
Um, where Which I didn't their, know, so it's good yeah, that you were playing Ted Pete. Yeah, well, the punster had a little base down there, and he was bringing them in, and, and so so that's... Uh, yeah, I believe uh, Control Freak was kind of uh, on the down low because of everyone was looking yeah, for him. Yeah, everybody's looking for him. And he's literally down he's low. He's literally, yeah. yeah. And these sewers were like, these rooms were like, you know, Gene Hackman's lair in the first Superman movie. They're down in the sewers, but they're decorated nicely and, mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. Okay. Well, now you said, where was this, the entrance? Or? Uh, up by the army base, there's a cliff where there's a great big pipe that spills stuff out into the, uh, into the lake. That's the best. That's the best way to get in. Well, and it used to be sewage, I'm sure, but the EPA at yeah, some point had to have stepped it's in. Stormwater runoff. It's stormwater uh, drainage now. Yeah. All right, that's where I'm going to go. All right, um, uh, that will take you some time. Although, I assume you drove around to find Deadbeat, so you probably mm-hmm. still got your vehicle. Uh, yeah. So. Can you, can you just, like, drive up to the top of the bluff or the cliff? Yeah, yeah, there's a cliff there where kids park to make out and stuff like that. You can okay. see the right, right. lights of the Army base uh, on, on your left-hand side, and the bay stretches off to where there's an old French castle far off oh, on the Castille right-hand side. De Croissant. The Castille de Croissant. Yes. All right, so uh, make a drive roll to uh, drive up to the top of the... Uh All right. That was a one. Oh. That's my time, folks. <laughs> so. All right. Were you just, did you just Biden? What? Did you just Biden? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> that's, that's another uh. voice. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we are going to okay. once again wager for control of John. All right. And I think Colin's got to be running low. Yeah. I got a whole stack of willpower over here. All right, reveal. Oh, damn. All right. Johnny Pharaoh going all in. Okay, well, I'm driving as I open my eyes. Or, you, well, uh, actually, it's up to you. Right? Well, yeah, no, no. Well, you, he doesn't fall asleep. He just loses control because oh, okay. he failed to roll. So, yes. Um, I do want to say one thing before I lost control. I want to say that I had set the GPS coordinates on uh, my phone for uh, that pipe or whatever. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I thought yeah. that's that's totally reasonable to me. And uh, of course, whether McGurk yeah, well, chooses to all right. when proceed. I when he opens his eyes and Whoa, whoa you gotta swerve a little bit. <sighs> Alright, I think I see what's going on here. And I'm gonna pull over to the side of the road for a second. I look at that GPS, I get my bearings. Cars are passing me on my left. I'm like, alright, what's going on? Hang on a second. I'm gonna rummage around in a glove box, uh, find a little notepad, piece of paper, you know, anything sure. like that. Reasonable. Right. Uh, I'm gonna write a note to myself uh, and, and I'm gonna put it in my pocket and say, "If you black out again, I am in your body. My name is McGurk." I am solving my own murder. Don't freak out. Um, and uh, and I don't know what else to say to somebody, but I've, I'm starting to think that. I'm starting to think I, I've come back from the grave and possessed a body, but I can only get it intermittently. And uh, I'm also going to narrate that when the cameraman showed uh, him that footage of, of what happened on the Hotel Swan roof, that they put it on like a little flash drive or something, so... So that that's also in my pocket too, like the proof of that. But I don't, uh, I don't know, know exactly what it is, you know, on this little thumb drive. All right, looks like whoever this kid, I'm in. Mean, uh, it looks like he's going. What the, what the hell is going to the that uh, make out point over the over the overlooking the uh, the lake? That is what it appears. All right, something's up here. Something about this kid doesn't uh, add up. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go where he was going and see take a look see see what I can find out and uh, yeah I'll drive there. Do you have uh, the driving skill? No, I don't. Uh, I feel like I should make you roll. I don't really want you to lose control at this point. You can choose to walk if you want. 
Well, I, I usually prefer to take a cab anyway. That's my preferred means of transportation. Well, you're kind of away from the city a little bit. At Damn, this I point. wish I could call my old friend uh, Lawrence. I He'd mean, come to me a ride. call an Uber. If, well, you have a phone. I'm assuming yeah. that uh, this city has some sort of Uber or Lyft. Uber would be totally appropriate. I, yeah, I don't, I'm gonna call the. I, I I don't know in Cape City. Maybe it's maybe it's Goober. So. Yeah, I'm gonna call it Goober. <laughs> I'm gonna call Goober. Um. But but you could also call Lawrence. Yeah, you have a phone. I, I don't think I will. We kind of talked about that in the past, and uh, so yeah, I Lawrence Lawrence probably wouldn't believe me, and uh, he, he'd get upset. He'd explode. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna ride this thing out to see see if I can see see if there's anything to be found or anything that pertains. Otherwise, I gotta see what's on this flash drive. This uh, this kid's got in his pocket. But I'll go ahead and drive up to the point where he was, and uh, I'll take the Goober. Okay, so you're yeah. gonna <clears throat> park the car on the side of the road and yeah, uh, get a yeah, Goober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you. Yeah. I'll keep the keys and all that, but I'm gonna fl- I'm gonna call the Goober and have him have him come get me and take him take me up to uh, uh, Lakeside Park. And uh, of course, he has no idea why you go in there to that park. He's got no clue to go into a sewer or anything like that. But he'll go to the park and look around. And uh, park. All right. So the Do you Goober, say it's dusk by now. It's, like it's getting. To get dark. It's getting yeah. there. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And damn, this is a beautiful city. I miss it. <laughs> so your goober shows up, and it's being driven by a dark-haired, sort of middle-aged man um, who just kind of eyes eyes you through the rearview mirror and kind of nods as you get in. And, uh, hi there, how are you? All right, hi there, hi there. Take me, uh, take me to the Lakeside Park. Hmm. Yeah, up by the Army Base. And he doesn't even talk. He just starts punching stuff on his phone. Yeah, thanks a lot. And then, uh, uh, now I got some time to think. I hate those talkative goober drivers. And he pulls away. Uh, and <clears throat> you're only a few minutes away. Where he stops, um, and there, you know, there's a couple other cars here and there, um, people sightseeing and or making out or whatever. Uh, but you probably don't care about that. Um, but he, as he st- stops the vehicle, he kind of once again looks kind of up at you through the rearview mirror and um, says nothing. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot, buddy. And uh, I'm gonna get out of the car. I think that guy's suspicious. I'm gonna look at him over my shoulder as I'm walking into the park, all casual. See if he drives away immediately, or whether he stays there and watches me. Uh, he stays and watches for at least a bit. Something's not right here. Now, why on earth would I be here? The only thing I can think of is there's that big sewer. <gasps> The sewer entrance. It's right underneath this park on the cliff. Yeah. Seems Hidden to, in plain sight. Seemed to me, seemed to me we had on file. We, we, there's, there's always somebody lurking down there. They've got those old rooms. Damn. I wonder if the person who's sharing his body with me is, is working with me somehow. Could I know? I don't know. I got to feel. Jesus. It's a good thing I'm real athletic that I can heft myself. Wait a minute. Look at me. I got this young body now. I'm used to this big bulk, but actually athletics is one of my skills. I'd like to try to scale down and uh, scale down the cliff and go into that sewer entrance, if at all possible. Um, okay, so... This is where that control freak... Maybe I can get some evidence down there. Maybe I can get him to confess. Uh, you you stand there and kind of talk to yourself. Some of that, I'm sure, was just internal. Um, your body language suggests that you may be... Um, going to oh yeah cl- climb, try to climb down right. and the goober driver opens his door and sort of walks over slowly He's kind of a tall guy can I help you friend? And you notice he seems to have makeup on or something and he looks at you and he says are you going to climb down there, or is it just a bluff? Well, it's really more of a cliff than a bluff, but... 
the punster. <laughs> and I reach for my gun, but then I realize I don't have my gun. And uh, he's going to uh, just run towards you and attempt to push you off. Oh no! All right. Well, luckily I'm athletic. Good thing for me, I'm athletic. I'm gonna dodge past him and do a roll, do a heroic roll, and hopefully his momentum will carry him off the edge. But oh no! <laughs> and we must once again yeah. wager for control. You know what? I think that's a pretty good place to call it for tonight. What do you think? Oh. All right. See you next time for the conclusion of Everyone is John, Cape City Edition. Mm -hmm.